Hello everyone, welcome to the video series on pharmacological classification of drugs. In this video, I will explain the classification of anti-TB drugs. Now, TB tuberculosis is caused by mycobacterium tubercule. This bacteria is very different from gram-positive bacteria. Unlike gram-positive bacteria, the cell wall of TB organism is made up of mycolic acid. It is not peptidoglycan. So the traditional beta-lactam antibiotic will not be effective against TB organism. Second one, this is acid-fast bacteria. The third one, the treatment of TB is very difficult. The reason is TB organism divide very slowly. Most of the antibiotics are very effective when the organism is dividing rapidly, but TB organism divides very slowly. The other major threat with TB organism is it develops resistance very rapidly. So drugs will become ineffective if, you, if patients do not follow a proper regimen. Now, World Health Organization has given a special course treatment to control TB. That is called as DOTS, D-O-T-S, Directly Observed Treatment Short Course. Now, why it is called so is, see, when someone is tested positive with TB, the medically trained people personally give the tablets to the patients. This is called Directly Observed. And this treatment goes on for six to eight months. Comparing with the previous treatments, which used to go for years together, this is short term, hence it is called as short course. Now, getting into the drug classification. <clears throat> now, there are two major classes are there, first line drugs and second line drugs. First line drugs are effective drugs with limited adverse effects. Second line drugs are less effective, but with more adverse effects are there. When first line drugs are, when TB organism develops resistant to the first line drugs, Patients will use second line drugs with a lot of adverse effects. Now, coming to the first line drugs, the major drugs are isoniazid, which is also known as isonicotinic acid hydrazine. See, this is denoted with a alphabet known as H. Because it is a hydrazine derivative, it is called as H drug. Next one is pyrazinamide. It is denoted as P. Rifampin, denoted as R. Ethambutal, denoted as E. Streptomycin. So these five are most potent and first line drugs which are used to treat tuberculosis. When the organism develops resistance, second line drugs will be used. In the second line drugs, there are three major categories are there. One, fluoroquinolones. In fluoroquinolones, you have ciprofloxacin, ofloxacin, levofloxacin, moxifloxacin. Now leaving this, some other injectable drugs are there, aminoglycosides. In that you have capriomycin, kenamycin, emicacin are there. Now, orally taken uh, drugs are there in second line. They are rifabutin, rifapentin, ethionamide, prothionamide, cycloserine, and paramenos salicylic acid. So, all these drugs are used when first line drugs is failed to show effectiveness. Now, see, drug resistance is the major problem with tuberculosis. When, when the organism develops drug resistance, there are two different types of resistant organisms are there multi-drug resistant TB and extreme drug resistant TB. So to control all kinds of TB, government of India has started a program called as RNCTP, Renewed National Tuberculosis Control Program, RNTCP, Renewed National Tuberculosis Control Program. So this is about TB. Thank you for watching this video.